Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Today we've got a look at Tromjaro. It's a distribution based off of Manjaro that is trade free. So we'll get into what the developers mean by that and kind of their philosophy and a little bit on how it's different from Manjaro. So stay tuned. So the first thing I want to do is jump over to the Tromjaro website and go to their about page and kind of go over their mission statement, if you will. So who are they? They're a bunch of volunteers trying to make everyone aware that the game we play, the game of trade, is creating most of today's problems, from corruption to violence, hunger to bad products, data collection to privacy invasion, human-made climate change to waste, and so forth. So it's a pretty bold statement. It simply throws people into a monopoly kind of game where everyone has to trade or do something to obtain, obtain something else. This imbalance of power between those who need, want, and those who have and provide make human beings behave very badly, hoard resources, create poor quality products, lie, deceive, abuse, etc. We explain in detail and well-sourced all of this uh, line of thinking and solutions to combat this primitive type of society on the Trom site dot com page since 2011 so they've been at this for a while we're not only creating awareness about this issue but we create solutions as much as we can the antidote for a trade-based society is a trade-free society and we're creating trade-free goods and services in today's world the notion of free has lost all of its meaning facebook proclaims it to be free but they collect your data in order to let you use their services YouTube shoves ads in your face and proclaims to be free. Android is a promoter for Google trade. And this power struggle makes these companies lie, deceive, and harm. This is why we struggle to make people aware of this confusion. When something is trade-free, it means it wants nothing from its users, like no collection of data, no wanting for people's attention or currency, and so forth. And that's why when we label our stuff as trade-free, we make sure it's clear that we do not want anything from anyone. We just do stuff. This is the purest form of free and the most honest one. So I want you to take that for what you will. I'm not going to share my opinion here. I certainly see some of their points, especially on the data collection side and the deception that, oh, our service is free, when in reality, if it's free, you're actually the product. Uh, because they're they're garnering data and things like that from you and we all know at what scale that occurs now they go on here to talk about why they customize manjaro and they believe that manjaro can be seen as a trade free distro in that they don't collect people's data or ask for money or anything like that but where they go on to make their argument here is that manjaro has defaults such as steam free office and or microsoft office that are packages that are already set up there, you know, as default. So they don't see those particular packages, say Steam, for example, because Steam is going to ask money from you as a trade-free uh, piece of software. They also go on to uh, talk about the AUR, which is turned on by default here, and you won't find that under Manjaro. So go ahead and close that out. All right, let's jump over first and take a look at, I believe, what we're going to find, which is Pamac under add remove software and I've had this I played around with this uh, probably three or four times I've got this on one of the laptops and the install was fast and fluid uh, very much like you would find installing Manjaro and I'll bounce back over to the packages in just a minute but we'll go in here and take a look at the AUR in case you're someone new and not familiar with that we'll talk about that for just a sec so the AUR is turned on by default and then by default you you find check for updates from the AUR so for those of you new to this saying hey what's he talking about here with the AUR the arch user repository is where you'll find a huge collection of software for arch based distros such as this Manjaro and several other well-known arch based distros one of the things to note here is that there are a few people, not many, but some who argue that the AUR is not the safest place to get your packages, while other people who have used Arch-based distros, such as myself, I've never had a problem with anything I've installed from the AUR. So just that's my take on it. Uh, it opens up a world, a tremendous world of software. Uh, you'll find things in the AUR that you will not find in the software library of any other distro. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and move on from there. We'll jump over and take a quick look at the packages again. Everything was set up in folders as we see here. I didn't change anything folder wise. So I think it was uh, designed to keep things nice and neat looking and, and it's really achieved its goal here. Also, the other thing I'll mention is we just pop through and take a quick look so you can see what's installed. It is a pretty slim distro, which I happen to like. Uh, I like to build my distro up, uh, you know, without having to go in and remove a lot of things that I normally wouldn't use. You won't find it much in the way of gaming or anything like that in this particular distro. More and different packages that may be considered trade packages installed, then you could just go with standard Manjaro, for example, if you're looking for an easy way to install an Arch-based Linux distro. So pretty slim on the packages. I like the way they've categorized everything in the folders and set that up by default. So good job there. Let's jump over to the theming. And I haven't changed a thing here. The layout that you see is, is what you're going to get when you boot in for the first time. Uh, so we'll go down here. Let's go to details first. I just want to see. So GNOME 3.34.2. So we're good to go there. Now one thing I have noticed, this top bar here, uh, has no navigation on the top panel until you kind of hover. It's I don't know if it's a glitch. I'm not sure if it's part of the theme causing this. Let's go ahead and maximize. Uh, but once you maximize, you'll see everything. We'll go back to unmaximize. Now you'll, you'll see there it showed up momentarily. Uh, that's one glitch or issue that I have, have found. Uh, so if we go over to appearance, you'll see here we've got Vimix Dark, Maya Cursor, um, the Zephyro icon theme, which I'm not familiar with, got a pretty unique look to it. This entire distro has got a real unique, very, you know, flat themed uh, look to it. So we go to shell here, the Vimix dark shell, and everything else is flat. And then we'll take a quick look at the extensions. Again, these are all set up by default. So again, that saves you a little time as far as extensions. You, you know, if you're someone who's into extensions, uh, whenever you run the GNOME shell or desktop, then you've got dash to dock set up, do not disturb set up, app folder management, no top left hot corner, uh, PMAC updates indicator, which we see right up there. So from here, it makes it easy to install additional themes and or extensions. And from there, let's take a look at the file explorer at files. So a lot of the standout in the theme. Overall, it doesn't feel like Manjaro, so take that for what it is. Um, it, it's certainly interesting as far as their philosophy is concerned. It doesn't change what you personally can do to this OS. It's perfectly capable of installing any piece of software that you choose. However, if you are someone who's into a, uh, their version of a trade-free world, so, um, you know, I understand what they're trying to do here. Uh, but I just wanted to make the statement with PMAC set up in the AUR, you can basically take this as your base and then turn it into whatever style of distro uh, you choose from that point. So I'm going to wrap this up um, here and keep things brief. I just found this interesting. I found the entire philosophy of trade free, not just free, but trade free interesting. And I wanted to bring this to your attention, uh, to your attention, in case this is something that interests you, and in case their movement interests you. With there being, you know, with this being an Arch-based distro, you're going to see rolling release updates. So as far as wanting to try this out and it being something that's going to be continually updated, you'll have no concerns there. A few concerns there, and it's a nice way. Maybe you're not a fan of the Manjaro theming. Uh, maybe you're someone looking to get into Arch and you want to find a way to do that. This is an easy way to set up an Arch system. Uh, the install was painless. And then from there, you can build it out with the AUR enabled. And as always, thanks for watching.